Well, should have voted for the other guy. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we're going to talk about WNBA star basketball player Brittany Griner, who is currently locked up in Russia due to bringing vape cartridges with hash oil and weed in it. Now, she wrote a letter to President Joe Biden recently asking if he could step in and get her released. Now, she's been in jail since February of this year. We're getting into July, into the dog days of the summer. I'm not sure she'll come home anytime soon, but she did write a letter asking for her release. And there's a lot to this story that I want to get through. The media are not going to tell you the whole situation. But before I get into the deep rabbit hole that I want to get into, let's roll the clip. In this clip, you're going to see, I think it's going to be NBC, CBS, one of the alphabet letter organizations. They're going to talk about the whole situation. They'll show footage of her in the airport getting locked up or whatever. But after we get done watching that, I'll come back. I'll talk about what was said there. Then I'll give you the rest of my two cents and my deep detail analysis. And then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. We are going to turn now to a new plea from WNBA star Brittany Griner directly to President Biden now. Griner has been held in a Russian prison since February on drug charges. Now, in a new letter to the White House... She's asking the president to step in. NBC's chief White House correspondent, Peter Alexander, following this one for us from Washington. Peter, good morning. Hey, Craig, good morning to you. The public pressure is now building on President Biden. Brittany Griner, she's been detained in Moscow for four and a half months. And that handwritten letter delivered to the White House Monday is both powerful and personal. Griner begs President Biden to intervene. The WNBA superstar writes in part, as I sit here in a Russian prison alone with my thoughts and without the protection of my wife, family, friends, Olympic jersey or any accomplishments, I'm terrified I might be here forever. She adds, I realize you are dealing with so much, but please don't forget about me and the other American detainees. Please do all you can to bring us home. Griner faces up to 10 years in prison if she's convicted of drug charges. Russia allegedly found vape cartridges with cannabis oil in her luggage. Her trial began last Friday, and because there's no presumption of innocence there, she's all but certain to be found guilty. A White House spokesperson says the U.S. is working aggressively to bring Griner home. The President Biden's team is in regular contact with her family, and Craig Griner's wife has been pushing for a meeting with the president. Craig. Peter Alexander from the White House for us this morning. Peter, thank you. All right. So you saw that, you heard that. Now, uh, if you're wondering how tall Brittany Griner is because you saw the clip and you're like, hey, she looks pretty big. I think she is six foot eight and can dunk a basketball. She can dunk barely, but she can't dunk. That's just an aside from the actual situation. Now, Brittany Griner, as I said, is locked up for the weed. They didn't say um, hash oil because Brittany had. Not only weed, but hash oil. They say in that clip right there, cannabis oil. That's, you know, that's how the media does. They, they, they don't tell you really what's going on. They give you a piece of it. Oh, it was just cannabis. You hear cannabis, you're thinking about legalization efforts and whatnot. But she had straight weed and hash oil, which are two different things. But although they derive from the same type situation. Anyway, you can't do that in Russia. That's illegal. She got locked up. And it's not like you would find any mercy in any other country or a lot of other countries. I mean, try going to Dubai with something like that. Uh, the rapper Future, his DJ, DJ Esco, got locked up a few years ago for like, what, two or three months in a Dubai jail because he had some weed from Amsterdam in his bag when he got to the airport. He said it was so bad, they brought out magnifying glasses to see if the little specks that he had in his bag were brown or green. It was, it was crazy. But... That's their laws over there. You want to go to a foreign country, then it is what it is. Now, let's get to this letter before I get too deep into more of this, why she was there and whatnot, because they did not show the full letter on that clip. They didn't show the full letter. So you see the first part, as I said, in Russian prison, loan with my thoughts, my thought protection of my wife, family, friends, Olympic jersey, or any accomplishments. I'm terrified I might be here forever. You know this part right here about the whole wife thing? Okay, obviously she's um, LGBT. They keep talking about wife, 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 wife because they want the LGBT community to step in and help as well. They want they, to, they want them to use their voice to get her out of jail. That's what it's about because when you hear about 
uh, overseas hostages or people in jail. She's not a hostage. She's in jail because she broke a law. But when you hear about things like that, you typically don't hear about their spouse or anybody. You just hear about them. But anyway, on the 4th of July, our family normally honors the service of those who fought for our freedom, including my father, who was a Vietnam War veteran. How old is your dad? How old are you, ma'am? Yeah, I know you're not older than I am. I'm almost about to be 40 here. So how old is your dad? Your dad got to be about 80 years old. But anyway, it hurts taking about how I usually celebrate this day because freedom means something completely different to me this year. Now, here's a part that they, they read sort of, but they didn't write, they didn't read the whole thing. If they did, maybe I missed it. Quote, I realize you're dealing with so much, but please don't forget about me and the other American detainees. Please do all you can to bring us home. Now, I think that's where it stopped in the original video, but here's where it continues. I voted for you the first time in 2020, and I voted for you. I believe in you. I still have so much good to do with my freedom that you can help restore. I miss my wife. I miss my family. I miss my teammates. It kills me to know that they are suffering so much right now. I am grateful for whatever you can do at this moment to get me home. Okay. Now, I don't think Brittany Griner wrote that letter 100% herself. It probably was a PR firm, a, a lawyer, maybe even a quote-unquote wife. They probably were involved in writing this whole situation. And I'm not sure it's going to get any traction, you see, because Brittany Griner is not needed. Trump was in office. If, if Trump were in office, he might get her out. Remember, let's go back to Trump's administration. I know uh, in the community, in the LGBT space, on the leftist space, on the liberal space, in the space that will watch the WNBA. Let's because let's be honest. The WNBA is not an exciting thing. A lot of times you're watching it because ain't nothing else to do or uh, you're trying to virtue signal, okay? It's not, a, it's not a fun sport to watch. I'm not saying women can't play any kind of sports or they're not good at athletics, but the WNBA basketball is not one of them, okay? If they get out there like, uh, uh, what's it, Gabby Douglas and Simone Biles, yeah, I'm watching that all day. Serena Williams, yeah, I'm watching that all day. The tennis, the gymnastics, figure skating, uh, volleyball, but basketball, no Thanks. I am good on that, but I digress. Now, they're trying to get whoever they can to pay them attention. If Trump were there, he might pay some attention. Like, hey, this is Brittany Griner, WNBA, black woman, all that in the third. Get her out. Remember, Trump got out not one, but two prominent people that were overseas in jail or prison. One of the ball brothers, I might have been Leangelo. I think it was Leangelo Ball. He, at the time, he was playing for UCLA, and he got locked up for shoplifting some sunglasses. And, you know, China, you can't do whatever you want over in China. You want to shoplift in, in China? Oh, man, you might go to the Gulag, Big Rocks, Little Rocks. Or how about big plastic and a little plastic for your Amazon purchases? But anyway, I digress. The point is, they don't play that stuff over in China. You want to shoplift? Oh, no, no, no. You're going straight over there. Do not... Collect go, do not do not pass go, do not collect two hundred dollars. You're out of there. But he was able to get him out of that situation and get him right back to the States. Okay. And Aesop Rocky, the rapper who's married to Rihanna now, before he got married to Rihanna, before they got together or whatever it is, I'm not sure if they're married or not. They got a child together, put it to you like that. Before he was the baby daddy or the husband or whatever he is now. Um, he was locked up in Sweden for a fight. Now, I'm not sure how the fight happened, if it was his fault, if it was someone else's fault. I can't really remember the story, but he got him out of um, jail. And I saw a story recently that said that Trump wanted to, wanted to start a trade war with Sweden over ASAP Rocky. Now, is that true? I'm not really sure. But he did get him out. And it was a whole big thing. If Trump Hit up the phone and called you, you answered the phone because he was unpredictable. You couldn't just you couldn't just talk to superiors or staff to find out what he was gonna do. Trump was gonna do what Trump wanted to do, and that's facts. Okay. Also, Trump was able to get out people domestically. Kodak Black, the rapper, uh Lil Wayne gave him a pardon, gave a lot of people pardons. People that were locked up under the 1994 crime bill that Joe Biden wrote, he got them out of prison. So if you wanted a guy that would get you out of 
the penitentiary, the clink, the husgu, if you're a minority, whether domestically or abroad, Trump was your guy. But you, in your own letter, said you voted for Joe Biden. Why would you do that? It looks like you have reaped what you sown, unfortunately. And to address the letter, you may be asking, where's the whole letter at? The, the PR for Brittany Griner only released certain pieces of it to the general public. Okay. And the media did not report on all of the pieces in their entirety. I was reading the article in NPR and what they reported was different than what CBS reported. So I have this right here from Buzzfeed and I saw it on Bleacher Report, like the full thing. And I'll link to my sources in the description box, but that's the full thing. Okay. She voted for Joe Biden. He's not coming through. If she voted for Trump and he didn't come through, maybe she have some kind of let the stand on, but Joe Biden don't really care. Joe Biden has not done anything for the community. He's not done anything for black people. He's not, not done anything for the American people, regardless of what color you are. He's not done anything. You, do you see what's going on with the economy, with the inflation? Okay. With the open border, he's not doing anything for you. So you can write this letter and hopefully you're able to uh, find your way out of the situation. You did break the law in Russia so if you get out, it'd just be by grace. Somebody had grace on you. Some dude named Sergey lets you out. But beyond that, I mean, you did what you did. Now you got to pay the concert. Now you got to pay the cost. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what said you? How do you feel about Brittany Griner's open letter to President Joe Biden? Will he pay any attention? Will he pick up the phone and call Vladimir Putin and be like, hey, man, I know we're trying to engage in this cold war against you. Well, not a cold war, a proxy war. We're, we're trying to fight you in Ukraine. We don't want to fight you directly. We're cutting, we're cutting you off on your oil supply. Do you realize they cut off Russian oil and all that it did was hurt us as Americans? That's making the price at the pump go higher. That's making the price and in, in your, your food establishment, your grocery store, Walmart, Target, Amazon. It's all going higher because... We're trying to boycott Russia all because of Ukraine. Do you realize that? So if we're, if we're willing to boycott a whole country's things that we need, their resources that we need, why would we go get a basketball player out of it? it, it you see what I'm saying? So I don't think this letter will go anywhere, but at least she tried. And hopefully it will be a lesson to not vote that way again. When you see they're not doing anything for you, believe it. And also don't go to Russia or anywhere else with we in your bag because you might not come home anymore. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And as all I got to say for this video, if you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.